the big story. We're following the UConn Huskies coming off back-to-back -back national championships. But is their head coach getting ready to make the leap to the NBA? News 8 Sports Director John Pearson is here with a look at what all this means and what's the latest? What's happening, John? Well, nothing right now. It's still what we learned earlier this morning. You know, the state kind of woke up to the news that the Los right. Angeles Lakers have made Dan Hurley their top target for that vacant position, head coaching position in L.A. And according to ESPN, the Lakers are... They're prepared to offer a massive deal to Hurley. Uh, you know, we're talking about, you know, maybe a hundred millions of dollars to the defending national wow. championship coach. And the report also says the sides are kind of planning to escalate the talks in the next coming days. Hurley shared the news with his team this morning. This will be a decision that tears Hurley into a couple of directions. The draw of, of course, taking over one of the most storied franchises in all of sports or sticking with a program he has reinvented with his passion, his basketball smarts, and commitment to a family-first atmosphere. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski broke the news this morning. For Dan Hurley, the NBA has been an ambition of his. He has talked about it. And the chance to hear out the Lakers, uh, which is certainly the mountaintop uh, of coaching at any level, uh, is something he's going to do now in the coming days the Lakers have been relentless, I'm told, in their pursuit of Hurley. Hurley and his staff have put together another top five uh, team for this upcoming season, one that really has a chance to make more basketball history with a run at a three-peat. Hall of Famers Gene Oriema and Jim Calhoun both weighed in today on the news. I don't know what's going on, and it'd be a bad day for UConn for sure if this happens, and it would be a great, great day for Dan Hurley and his I'm sure a bittersweet day for Dan Early. I truly understand that it's, it's going to be a family decision. What he's done, he's picked up the, uh, you know, he's picked up the rope and started and, and keeps pulling up the mountain, and I'm proud of him. And you know, I understand that, but personally, Jim Calhoun, I want him to stay. And Hurley recently re-upped for $32 million over six years at UConn. This could be a deal that's $100 million. The highest paid coach in the league is Steve Kerr at $17.5 million a year. And I think that deal for Hurley might exceed that. So he's going to have a tough decision to make. But one thing, he loves his team. He loves his players. And he loves the families of the players as well. So this is not going to be an easy decision, I don't think, for Dan Hurley. And I think Calhoun said, of course, you've got to look at it. Yeah. But he said for him... He was a college coach. That yeah. was, and he's he says he's going to have to make this decision, yeah. and that's tough. It is it is tough, and, and everything's different now. College basketball is different than when Jim was coaching. Now with all the NIL money and all the problems and that go along with it now, and keeping kids there and the transfer portal right. and all of it. So uh, we'll we'll see. Also, an 80 game schedule in the NBA. There's a lot more games. How will Dan's temperament transfer the NBA? Will his wife like the West will, Coast? Yeah, there's so many factors are going to play. LeBron <laughs> James wants his kid on the team. There's a lot yeah, going on. Yeah, I, I know. And who's running the show out there? Is going to be LeBron? Is going to be Dan? There's a a lot to talk about in this whole thing. Yeah, well, do you think he's going to make his decision this week? Uh, I mean, there's no way to know. No, I, I'm, I'm going to say sometime next week, man. He's got to talk about a lot to a lot of people about it. Yeah. His his family, you know, his wife, of course, and then, you know, probably he's his dad. He's an East Coast girl. Yeah, she's, they're from Jersey, so they love it around here. And, and we'll, we'll see what happens with this. But uh, I, my gut says I think eventually he has to take he has to take the job. I, it's a chance at L.A. to restore some history out there, showtime. I, I don't know. We'll I think see. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, I hope you are, too. Thanks. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Interesting couple of days. John and the guys will be on it. John, thank you. Uh, UConn fans reacting to all this as well. News 8's Tim Harfman joined us live from campus in stores. Tim, what are they saying? Well, Darren and Ann, good evening. Most students are gone for the summer, so you would think that it's relatively quiet here on campus, but there's a lot of hype over Hurley and these reports. I made an attempt to get comment from the defending national championship coach earlier today when he left the practice facility, but there were members of the UConn athletic department playing defense against us. Hey, coach. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He's not coming. Coach, you have any comment about the rumors? UConn men's basketball coach Dan Hurley on a fast break Thursday afternoon, leaving the Huskies practice facility with no comment amid reports that he's in talks to coach the Los Angeles Lakers. We asked UConn fans for their thoughts. Should Hurley stay in stores or leave for LA? I think Dan Hurley's built to be a college basketball coach. I love his personality. I think in the NBA world, he would get a little bit drowned out by the Lakers team and that, that bigger spirit. So I think he should stay. I'm conflicted. I would applaud him being able to go to the NBA. I really would, but he's ours. <laughs> he's ours. I understand it's a business. 
Um, I feel bad for the recruits and the transfers who just came in, which is my main concern. But um, it happens. I don't want to see it happen. I don't know. I hope he stays, but when he talks, whatever's best for him. But if the team, if we want to win another championship, we're going to have to, we honestly want to keep him. So if fans want the two-time champion to stay for a three-peat, we ask them to make their best pitch to their current head coach. You know the UConn spirit. You love your UConn fans. Think of us and stay here. It's family here, and I'm sure it is at every other college too, but we don't have a, you know, we don't have an NBA team. UConn is our team. People out here, they're going to they're gonna treat you better than they will out there. News 8 also asked Governor Ned Lamont about the reports this morning. That's really up to UConn. I, I know we've, um, it's really up to him and his family to make the decision they want. They got, they got to know they're part of the Connecticut family. And we love them. And speaking of family, News 8 sat down with Hurley and his wife last summer, where he said that family is important to them. Also, back in April, after winning that second national championship, there were reports that Kentucky was interested in hire, hiring Hurley, in which he jokingly responded that he would not want to move his family farther away from their family in New Jersey, and therefore that would result in divorce. We are live tonight on the UConn campus. I'm Tim Harfman, News 8.